Okay, so this is where we receive samples. Uh, the flow section actually tests samples for lymphocyte subsets. We do other tests. We do T cell activation tests and we do PET panels. Um, what we do is we receive the samples in the main reception and then we bring them here. We are booking in our own samples. Um, we just book them in. We actually will be looking for either just three lymphocytes or we'll be looking for the full lymphocyte subset. We divide them straight away and then what we do is I'm here booking them in. We put them on our system and then we'll take them to the machines to lyse our cells. So basically what we're doing there is lysing the blood and making sure that we have the antibodies exposed so they can actually react with the, um, with the antibodies that we add to it. Here what we do is we have a flow count and we have antibodies. We will be looking for, in this particular case, if you're looking for lymphocyte sub subsets, we'll be looking for all the cells that make part of it, which are T cells and B cells. Um, and so we add the, the cell receptors that we use for it. Uh, so here we have CD56 uh, and we have CD4s and CD8s and CD16s we add outside of the machine. And then the, the machine will basically adjust, lyse those cells there's a few um, reagents here that just add it as it goes with the blood. We'll shake it and then we'll just expose uh, the cells that we want, that it's the lymphocytes. Once the cells are lysed and they have been allowed to react with all the antibodies uh, to recognize these cells so we're actually able to count them, because that's what we're looking for, because there are guidelines for treatment, there are guidelines for um, immunological diseases like um, primary immunodeficiency. Um, so once that's done, we just bring it to our um, flow cytometers. So, in the flow cytometers, we can actually choose what we're looking for. We can either look just for T lymphocytes, so CD4s and CD8s, which is mainly what we do when we are looking for HIV patients, and obviously there's several clinics that are monitoring treatment. Um, uh, what we do is basically count those cells. The guidelines have changed, if I'm not mistaken, to 300 cells now, it used to be. 500 um, or the other way around, used to be 300, now it's 500. So what we do is we just count them. Then from here, obviously depending on if it's we're just looking for T cells or also B cells, the program we add, it's different. And then as you can see, there, is, there are beams going around. So this is how the cells are counted. From here, we have a system that actually transports directly uh, the results from here to our um, LAR system. We need to check the charts and basically what we do is you will print one page for the T cells because you will have two tubes. Here I'll be looking for the T cells on the second tube I'll be looking for B cells. So these show me exactly the total amount of um, white cells and then it will divide them into lymphocytes, monocytes, esophenils and everything else. And then it will sort of um, divide them onto just lymphocytes in this channel and then CD4, CD8s and then obviously CD4s and CD8s where we can actually see if there are some double positives or some double negatives which can be relevant in a variety of conditions. Um, and then basically we go on to the second page, which will do the same thing for the B lymphocytes and the natural killer cells.
Yeah, we check those. We see if there's a need to actually play a little bit around with these gates because sometimes, obviously, machines are not perfect. And sometimes what it does is it doesn't, for example, there, it didn't pick up just lymphocytes, picked up a little bit more of the cells. There are, you know, other white cells that we're not interested. Um, so we can move these gates um, as we see that it makes sense because obviously on the machine they are colored as well, so it's easier. Um, and then once that's done, we have obviously we have uh, ranges that we accept and don't accept when we look at the values and then we just release the results.